Hi all, in this short video, I'll be taking you through one of the questions from our question bank of 2000 questions. This is the first video in a series of videos based on PMP certification examination. The idea behind creating such videos is to make you familiarize with the types of questions that you may encounter while writing your PMP certification exam. So let's begin. There's going to be a simple way of working of this video. I'll show you the question. I'll show you the four options associated with the questions where one of the options would be right to the asked question. I'll then share the reason of choosing the right option. My only request to you is this. Please pause this video as long as you would wish for. After seeing the fourth option, choose the right option before resuming the video. The question is, as a project manager, you are arranged a meeting to present your project charter to your sponsors, stakeholders and clients. You did so through a slide presentation that includes supporting media and you made sure you leave time for questions and answers. So what is the purpose of a project charter? And the four options are option A, to formally authorize a project or a phase and document initial requirement that satisfy the stakeholders' needs and expectations. Option B, to describe the process of performing the work defined in the project management plan in order to achieve the project's objectives. Option C, to document how the project will be planned, executed, monitored and controlled and closed. And option D, to link the project which is going to be planned, executed and monitored and controlled to the ongoing work of the organization. Now please pause this video and choose the option which you believe is the right one for this question. Once you are through with it, resume the video. I hope you have chosen the right uh, option for this question. So let me tell you the definition of project charter as defined in PIMBOR Guide 6th edition. It defines the project charter is defined as a document issued by the project sponsor that formally authorizes the existence of a project and provides the project manager with the authority to apply organizational resources to project activities. A project charter is a formal project authorization document that documents the shared understanding of a project scope, development and objectives, while also defining the roles and responsibilities of each party involved. You can refer to this definition on page number 34 and page number 35, 75 of the PIMBOK guide 6th edition. Now let's get back to the options. If you chose option D, it does not fall in the definition of project charter. It may be part of either portfolio management plan or program management plan. So this option is ruled out. If you chose option C, it clearly indicates that it is part of project management plan, so cannot be the right option. If you chose option B, it is also part of project management plan and so cannot be the right option. Now, if you choose option A, which is the right answer, as it falls in the definition provided by the PIMBOK guide, sixth edition. So that was all about this question and the options and the right options. I hope you have learned something new today. Thank you.